I'm Martin Kaiser from the Royal Marsden Hospital and the Institute of Cancer Research in London in the United Kingdom. We are presenting uh, at this ASH work from our Optimum Mach 9 study. Um, this is one of the first molecularly stratified trials, particularly uh, addressing the unmet need of ultra high risk patients uh, in myeloma. Currently, in many healthcare systems, patients receive very similar therapy when they're newly diagnosed, regardless of their risk status. But we do know that about 20-25% of patients do experience a very early relapse within the first two years from diagnosis. And that is not only a stress for the patient, it's also a burden on the healthcare systems. Uh, and we do know that these patients, unfortunately, tend to also have shorter remissions in second line and subsequent therapies. So it's really important to uh, identify these patients up front and to modify the treatment already from the first line therapy because the longer we can keep them in remission in first line, the better the outcome is probably downstream as well. So we used um, um, molecular profiling with both genetic profiling, so we profiled for double hit genetics uh, and for gene expression profiling, and we also included plasma cell leukemia patients, which is really a new strategy that uh, we hope will uh, be more widely implemented because plasma cell leukemia patients are otherwise excluded from a lot of clinical research. So, normally in a trial, especially one that you run in a public healthcare system, you would randomize the patients to standard of care therapy. But unfortunately for ultra high risk patients, that is a problem because we know that their outcome with standard of care therapy is really not optimal. And telling them first that they have ultra high risk disease and then randomizing them is really an ethical issue. So we had to come up with a new solution and we um, adopted a system developed for rare diseases which uh, uses a synthetic comparator arm. But we modulated it so and we adjusted it so that it really meets the highest standards of trial conduct. We used data from a large phase three randomized trial that had just been conducted and screened these patients for ultra high risk disease with the same methods that we used in the prospective trial. And by that way we created what we call a digital comparator trial. So we can compare the outcomes of the patients that we identified freshly with those that have just been treated in the trial that uses a standard of care therapy. And by that way, we're avoiding randomization of the patients. Now, the patients in the new trial received uh, a really innovative therapy with a five-drug combination of induction therapy with daratumumab, Velcade, Revlimid, Dexamethasone, and Cyclophosphamide. Then they had a transplant. These were all younger and fitter patients. And we, in particular, kept a really high treatment intensity after the transplant as well, with DARA VRD uh, for 18 months and then patients went on to DARA R maintenance therapy after that until progression. We really feel that that is one of the key elements in terms of keeping high risk and ultra high risk patients in remission with their disease. And the data that we present now are the final endpoint analysis of the comparison of progression free survival at 18 months between the newly treated group in the Optimum Mach 9 trial and the Myelom 11 trial and we see a really dramatic improvement in progression-free survival at 18 months, uh, with about 75% of patients in the DARA VTD treatment still in remission at that time point. That tells us that the combination of an in intensive induction therapy and in particular maintaining a good response, which we had shown before, expresses itself in a high rate of MRD negativity if that is maintained, can actually lead to really improved progression-free survival outcomes for patients over standard of care therapy, which in this case was on the Myelom 11 trial, KRD with cyclophosphamide uh, plus a transplant and revlimid maintenance, a standard that is really widely accepted in many healthcare systems as a pi imid combination transplant and revlimid maintenance treatment. So we hope that A, the data really gives um, a good basis for better treatment for patients with ultra high risk disease as well as better identification of the patients by a combined genetic and gene expression profiling approach. We hope the inclusion of plasma cell leukemia patients will be something that will be adopted in other trials in the future. We saw that recruitment for our trial was uh, about 10 months ahead of what we had projected showing the really high unmet need of patients and 
treating teams to have treat, uh, risk adapted approaches for patients. And we ultimately hope, of course, that this novel approach of a digital comparator arm with these very stringent criteria that are controlling for all the uncertainties that can come up if you compare against standard of care, treatment data or other data, that this approach of a digital comparator arm using the highest quality data from a phase three trial with molecular str uh, stratification could be adopted in the future to really accelerate the development of better treatments for patients with such high unmet need.